they still remember those those carefree days. And it's mm -hmm. nice to remember those carefree days until that sudden and then everything changed. Did and you? I was in Kampala. I was born in Kampala. So I was in I was city girl. Unlike <laughs> you. Just, so, you know, I went to nursery school, primary school and secondary school in Kampala. At school, we didn't really mix out, out outside of school because you were within your own communities and, and you went to Jamaat Khana and then you came home and went to school. So, and the community that I, well, the area I lived in were all Asians anyway, so you played with the Asians around you rather than the indigenous population. But at school, everybody you goes together. I think my dad, at the time, when uh, when he got home and, um, you know, he said this is going to be serious and because we were nine girls and two boys, he was really worried. Um, I mean, some of the girls had been married, some had left Uganda to go and study abroad. Um, but he was worried about the girls that were still at home, so he, he took it seriously and he made us think about it, saying, you know, it is going to be serious, be careful, just don't open doors. Before, we used to just leave the doors open and had to lock the doors and be careful who you spoke with and didn't get into arguments or anything. Yeah, so he made us aware to be careful and that it was serious. And he was worried. You know, yeah, I think we did still go to school, but you had to be careful. Well, yeah, I do remember because you had to queue to get, you had to be searched before you left Uganda and it was quite scary actually, even though I was with my parents, both my mom and dad and myself and my sister came um, here. Quite scary, I remember the plane journey over and being cold on the plane, it was really cold because I only had a cardigan, you know, I, you didn't have coats, so um, it was cold and Landing, I remember how cold it was, and you had to come down the um, walk down down the stairs onto the tarmac. And um, as you got into the building, they were handing out coats. The the I don't know if it was, it, yes. was it the was Women, it that one? Women's Royal Volunteer Service. Services. Anyway, that they, we were all given. I was given this brown fur coat with a fur. So I, I, it was nice. It, I remember it very well. And then you know, from there we were then put on buses to coaches to go to the camp, which was um, quite an eye opener from what we came from—a settled life, you know, in your own house, in your own country. And then all of a sudden, you've got one bag of belongings, and that's it.